Hey, good morning everybody. It's me, OG, on this fine October morning. I hope you can hear me okay. I try to get as close to the camera as I can. I don't really have a mic. But um, on this morning I wanted to talk about some basic things with health. And the first, really the first thing I think about when I think about health is, you know, diet and exercise. Right? What is health? Think about that question. What is health to you? You, know, you could be in really good physical shape, but if you're not mentally, spiritually healthy, you're not healthy. But I think the foundation of health really is physical health. Um, and then mental and spiritual kind of go on top of that. So just to talk about physical health, I see physical health as two things really. Diet, exercise. Those are the things you can control. So. Every day, every morning, start with a liter of water. This is what a liter looks like, filled to the top. That's before you eat anything. One liter before breakfast, one liter before lunch, a liter before dinner, and then a liter before bed. Four liters, four glasses of water a day. That's health. That's, that's, that's my point, hydration with purpose. Okay, if you really wanna be healthy, Hydration, diet's the foundation of all health, and the foundation of all diet is hydration. Does that make sense? Drink, drink your ass off. Lots of water. Um, the second part, or another point about diet is you want to develop a really positive relationship with food. I know for a good part of my life, I had a really negative relationship with food. Should I eat this? Shouldn't I? Oh, I'm, I'm going to eat that. I only have a little bite of this. It's just real negative. It, was, it wasn't positive for me. But now the last nine months, ten months, I've been following a vegan diet. My relationship with food has transformed. It's much, much healthier now. Now I can't wait to eat. I know what I'm allowed to eat as far as health, as far as my choices. And when I eat that, man, I'm full into it. Love it. It's awesome. It's just fantastic. So, you know, having a strong, positive relationship with food. I think a lot of times people have negative relationships with food. You need to have like a really positive relationship with food and enjoy what you're eating. Um, the other big part of diet is you have to see fruit as a meal rather than a snack. For so long, fruit was like, hey, you have a snack, banana, apple. But now, no, bananas are the meal. And it, it takes a lot of getting used to. But once you get used to it, man, does your body love it. Holy cow. Your body just, your body loves fruit. We're programmed to eat fruit, really. It's an amazing thing. So fruit is a meal. Um, fruit as breakfast, fruit as lunch, as meals. That's too big. I still struggle with it nine months in but think of it that way um, the other thing you have to do if you're really into your health and you're really into your diet is you have to count calories now I never used to do this I used to think it was completely ridiculous to count calories but now I'm totally into it you know not counting calories is kinda of like having a really awesome car and saying eh I don't need a gas gauge who needs a gas gauge who needs it I'll just drive around when the car starts acting funky or I'll just pull over and deal with it then you know, would you ever do that with a new car? If you had a new Porsche or Lamborghini or GTO? No way, man. You're looking at the gas gauge constantly. But for our own bodies, we don't even look at the gas gauge. We're like, I'll wing it, man. I'll eat now. I'll be good. And it's really a poor decision health-wise to do that. And you have to count your calories. you got to know your body needs a minimum. If you do nothing, your body needs almost 2,000 calories. If you do nothing. If you're just sitting around on a couch all day, you need about 1,500 to 2,000 calories. If you're active, you need three, even 4,000 calories a day, which is a lot. So begin to count your calories, Google what things are, how many calories each thing is that you eat, and start to understand calories. And they're not all the same. The calories from fruit, potatoes, rice, those are the calories we're gonna load up on. Calories from animal products are out not have those in this diet for me anyway um, and then you know 
the other part of this diet is you've, your cooked meal is later in the day. So you go uh, organic, raw breakfast, organic raw lunch, snacks are fruit-based, raw, organic. Then at lunch, you after four, I'm sorry, at dinner after four, you can have a cooked meal. And the cooked meal is usually really, really looked forward to because you've been eating you know, pretty good all day and now you're gonna have a nice hot cooked meal and it's awesome. Um, it's rice, it's potatoes, it's veggies. You know, there's all kinds of things you can go with. It's endless, really, but the key theme is it's low salt, low fat, low cholesterol, no animal products. Um, the last point about diet is when, when you eat this way, if you decide to eat this way, you know, could you decide to eat this way? I hope you can. If you could, you can eat as much as you want. I'll say it again, you can eat as much as you want. I can eat, last night I had like five servings of potatoes, big servings. I ate until my heart was content, until I was complete, completely satiated. And I could keep eating with no guilt, no worrying. I just pigged out, man, and it was great. So, if you follow, you know, this diet and your health, just to go over these things, you have to have a positive relationship with food, hydrate with purpose, eat fruit as a meal, count your calories, cooked meals later at four, and eat as much as you want. This is a, this is a, a lifestyle of abundance, an eating of abundance, not calorie, calorie restriction is old diets, those are, those are loser diets, don't do those. Eat as many calories as you want. Have a life of abundance, a diet of abundance, and you'll feel great. And it's really working for me. So I just wanted to make this video on health and on diet. I hope you got something out of it. If you like it, thumbs up. Sorry it's crooked. My tripod uh, needs a little work. Um, but I'll, I'll get it fixed. This is one of my first videos, so it's going to be a little choppy, but it'll get better. But uh, just make fun of me below. If you know me, definitely say something funny. Even if you don't know me, you can say something funny. You know, just add some comments. And thanks for listening. Peace out.